Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and guess what? My hand is now magnetic. I'll I'll show you. Um, one second. Why stay? May take a while. There we go. And it's totally not because I have a magnet on the other side. So surely you've heard of it by now. People are claiming that people are now magnetic at the injection site for the COVID-19 vaccines, which is very ridiculous to me. All you have to do is think about this for not even five seconds to debunk it. Well, Biden and Kamala Harris themselves snuck into my house last night and secretly gave me a COVID-19 vaccine when I was asleep and now it's made by our magnetic. See? Karen, give me that spoon, you absolute spacehead. Do you see what's on the back here? It's sellotape. You know you're not actually magnetic. Well, we've got to warn people about the tracking chips in the vaccine somehow, so it's okay to lie about it because the vaccines would be worse. Karen, you're talking absolute bollocks, but we're gonna get back to that in a bit. As for now, Let's completely dispel this idea that people's arms are getting turned magnetic because of the COVID vaccine. So anyone that believes that the COVID vaccine is making people magnetic, the only thing they understand about magnetism is that it makes things stick. That's all. But there's a bit more to it than that. Now let's assume for a second that the COVID-19 vaccine contains a whole lot of little tiny magnets. Now some people may say, hold on planner walk, couldn't it be that the liquid in the COVID-19 vaccine is magnetic? Isn't that a possibility? Ferrofluids do exist after all. So here's the thing, when it comes to a permanent magnet, all the spins of all the molecules in this magnet are aligned to create a magnetic field. However, in the spoon, the spoon isn't magnetic unless it comes in contact with a magnetic field. But when it's outside of a magnetic field, all these spins are in random directions, which essentially cancel each other out. Now when the spoon enters a magnetic field, the magnetic field causes a lot of the spins of the molecules in the spoon to point the same direction as the magnetic field, thus making the spoon itself magnetic. Now when it comes to a liquid, the molecules like to move around quite a bit, and so the spins of the molecules will end up being in a random direction, thus any magnetic field that the liquid could produce is cancelled out unless it comes in contact with a magnetic field. And this is how a permanent magnet works, although I get the feeling that I may have annoyed some physicists with my wording and my efforts to make it a simple explanation. So keeping with the idea that the COVID-19 vaccine injects a whole lot of tiny little magnets, you do realise that magnets tend to attract each other, right? So in other words, you'd have a whole lot of magnets sticking together inside your body. I'm sure someone would have noticed that if that was indeed happening. Now let's assume that no one has noticed the clump of magnets in their arm. Early on in the video I had trouble sticking this spoon to my hand when I had a magnet in it. And the reason being is because the power of a magnet decreases as you get further away from it. Now this is a fairly decent magnet. I can actually use it to hold the Area 51 sign. But you move it away by a little bit and it's not very powerful at all. If it was in your arm, I don't think it would be able to hold up a spoon with it being a couple of, not even a centimetre, about a centimetre away, yeah, about a centimetre away and it can barely hold up a spoon. Now some people may be saying, well, what's causing people to have spoons stuck to their arms in all those videos? And the answer is plain and simple, they're just sticky. Now when it comes to those videos, you never know what's happened before the videos, like maybe it was a hot day or maybe they had been working out and their arm got sweaty and 
uh, because it got sweaty, it got sticky, or maybe someone else was working out on their arm, if you know what I mean. And it's not like it's anything new. Here's a clip of James Randi debunking this kind of thing ages ago. <laughs> I'm going to ask the challengers to um, put the powder on their hands and on their chests and then make the objects stay there. Uh, <laughs> 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 See, you don't need magnetism to make things stick to you. There are plenty of other ways to be sticky. Now let's address the concerns that Bill Gates has put some kind of potato chip into your vaccines. What kind of chip do you think he's put in there? A lot of people will think, well, he's obviously put in a chip that can track you. Okay, so a GPS then. A GPS that would need a battery so that it could send and receive signals and a battery that's not going to run out of power anytime soon. A battery that's probably not going to fit inside a vaccine. One of those. Well, you clearly don't know what RFID chips are. RFID chips can be very small and they don't need batteries. Oh, RFID chips, I know about them. You're talking about the RFID chips that are powered by radio waves and the RFID chips that have a maximum range of 200 meters. The RFID chips that the smaller they get, the lower that range becomes. Those RFID chips? You see, as much as people would like to believe that technology is magical and can do anything, technology does have its limits. And besides, sometimes there's just a much more simpler way to go about things than injecting you with some tracking device. Now, if the vaccines were injecting you with some kind of chip, the chip that seems most realistic would be some kind of identification system, where all you need to do is get scanned and that proves you are who you say you are. But people would catch on pretty quickly if that were the case. If people just need to be scanned to figure out who they are, people would catch on pretty quickly that, hold on, this thing figures out who I am by scanning me. That means that there is something inside me that allows this thing to figure out who I am. I did not consent to having anything put inside me to figure out who I am. I suppose there was that one time in college, but that's not really the thing that gets picked up by a scanner. At the end of the day, there's really no good reason to believe that the vaccines are designed to inject you with some kind of technology that will eventually be used against you because, again, technology is not magic. They can't just inject you with something and be like, oh yeah, we, we're just going to know where you are 24-7. It just doesn't work that way. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you liked that video. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you think and also ring the bell notification so that you actually get notified of when I post new videos. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. What Jesus, Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Jane Spade, Wolfie, Mori, Graymore Ghost, Kid Vicious, and Sarcha Campbell. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link there. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Oh, and lastly, big thank you to my spoon holder, which is basically a guitar stand and a magnet. Very budget. <laughs>